And next up here on 1490 KBZY, we're going to be finding out more about the business just down the hall from us here at KBZY with the senior helpers and uh, Dara Queen with us here this morning. Hey, good to have you on KBZY Radio. Good morning. I'm so excited to be here. Now, how long have you worked uh, with senior helpers? I have been with the company for two years. Mm -hmm. The first year and a half, I was the caregiver manager handling um, every single caregiver that came through, doing one-on-one training, spot checks. The girls and, well, fellas too were with me usually for the first two days. And then um, I would go out to the field and help them uh, in people's homes after that. Then I decided to move into more of the community relations role and business development role so that I could tell people about the wonderful things we do. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, let's talk about some of those wonderful things. Your listeners are wondering uh, what exactly do senior helpers do? What's it all about? Uh, Maybe you could just start off with just kind of a basic framework. Sure. Senior Helpers of Salem was established in 2008 by Jim and Melanie Reynolds. They are still our current owners and very much involved. Um, We are a basic in-home care agency. So if you are in your home and you notice that mom and dad or yourself need a little help, they're a little forgetful every now and then, we come in and make sure that they have that companion around. Did you take your medicine? Have you had water today? Have you been fed? What activities can we do today? Um, We come in and intervene at a very crucial time and prevent hospital stays and skilled nursing stays. And we fight to keep you home, in home, safely um, every day. Now, is there an age requirement? How does that work? There is not an age requirement. We recently took on our youngest client at 18 years of age. He is a foreign exchange student, uh, had a little bit of an accident, and they they needed to have help for him for 46 days. And he was our youngest and um, taught a lot of our caregivers another language. And we kept him home, and he was great and recovered in six weeks. So Yeah, yeah now would it be fair to say you're sort of in between um, – regular full-time nursing care Uh, this would be kind of an intermediate step just some help without necessarily uh, uh, being on the medical side right so home help comes in and they do all the skilled nursing care Um, senior helpers comes in and we either prevent skilled nursing care or we work alongside skilled nursing care so they can come in and make sure that your medications are taken and that you have your wounds checked properly and that you're getting good transfers where we come in and we do all the social circumstance stuff make sure you take your medicines at the same time every day make sure you're clean fed safe and happy mm-hmm. and what's the again what would you say is the biggest motivation for a, you know a family to to welcome you in what, what are the, what's the main thing they think they would gain from it um the burden of care release so oftentimes we see that the primary caregiver struggles more than the client themselves and it takes away from that time usually it's family it takes away where you get to be the son the daughter the wife the husband um, we still allow you to be that role and we take on the personal care role for you mm-hmm. uh, that way that burden of care and that worry we provide that peace of mind um, so that there's no burden of care on the primary caregiver Very good. And uh, for those that are interested in finding out more, what's the best way to do it? Um, Mm 503-990-7112. And we are on call 24 hours a day. We usually have between five to six assessments a day. They're free. They're complimentary. They're in your home. We come in and take a look around and assess where senior helpers fits and the ways that we can help you be better. Now, what would you be looking for in in making your assessment? We come out and identify areas of risk. Um, So we can see where the next fall will happen. We can see where the next medication error will happen and we prevent all of those that way you don't have to go to a hospital stay and you don't decline further in your health Mm -hmm. and uh, I know this is really a growing field isn't it it is it's kind of a new model Um, a lot of times you know for all through the 90s people were saying assisted living community care and that's wonderful but you don't get that one-on-one time that senior helpers can provide when you're in a community you get maybe 45 minutes of one-on-one care from the caregiver and we give you that every day every hour um, of need all right and you've got uh, the website that uh, fills in more information yes sir www.seniorhelpers.com all right again visiting from uh, senior helpers uh, dara queen thanks for coming by hey we'll see you next time thank you so much